everyone, welcome back to the Darcy Bra Sewing Pattern Tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to secure your strap tab here, how to add a slider to this tab here and assemble and attach an adjustable bra strap. Whether you're sewing styles 1, 2 or 3 now the process is the same. To, to begin with what we're going to do is just secure this strap tab in place. So all we've got to do is sew just where the strap is a wide zigzag stitch just along here just to make sure that's nice and secure in place. On the back just make sure that the strap is straight and it's not going to go off at an angle like this or it's not buckled or anything like that. Just make sure it's nice and straight all sort of level with the top and then sew the zigzag stitches. So I've got my sewing machine set to a zigzag stitch with a width of 5.5 and a length of 1.5. I'm just going to go over this a couple of times make it nice and secure. There we are, that's going to make that nice and secure. I'm going to do the same for the other side. To attach the strap to the front of the bra, we're going to need a slider on here. So take one of your larger sliders, so this is a 15mm slider. Thread it at one side of the slider and pull the tab through by approximately two centimetres, so that's three quarters of an inch, and fold back on itself like that. So that's what we'll end up looking like. So to secure this in place, just sew a row of straight stitches about a centimetre and a half away from the folded edge, so about half an inch, just a row of straight stitches straight across. Then on the inside of the bra, just trim back any excess elastic and fabric. Just repeat this exactly the same for the other side. So to make your adjustable straps, cut two pieces of strap elastic, about 46 centimetres long, that's about 18 inches. To assemble your strap, thread the strap elastic through the slider, up one side and back down the other, folding the elastic back to back, pull through a little way, a couple of centimetres should do it, so about there. And to secure this in place, just sew a row of straight stitches across the width of the elastic close to where this end is. over that a couple of times just to make it nice and secure. So there we are, and then just trim the excess strap elastic back to the stitches. And do the same with the other strap. So take the free end of your first strap and with the back of the elastic facing up, and sort of the shiny side or the side that you'll see on the final bra facing down. Thread the elastic back to front through the ring on the back of the bra. Just pull it most of the way through until you've got sort of that sort of amount just left. Obviously they're adjustable straps so you can adjust this once you've assembled the strap. But then thread the free end again back through the slider so if you can see through that side and then back through the other, so it'll look like that. Take the free end of the elastic and thread it from front to back through the slider at the front of the bra. So pull it back on itself, just a little bit, so it'll look something like that. And then secure this in place again with a row of straight stitches just across the width of the elastic. and secure. So just trim back any excess strap elastic at the back and it will look something like this. So then just repeat the whole process for the other side. So 
this is the point right now we've got all the straps attached all that's left to do is sew on the back closure so I'll be showing you how to do this in the next video so I'll see you there